Hello, my Scorpio family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for you, Scorpio, for April 27th through May 3rd. Thank you for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. A reminder, these are general readings. Take what resonates and disregard the rest. And all the card information is listed below. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating. Okay, Scorpio, what I'm doing for this week's reading is taking a look at the next six months for you, Scorpio. Each card represents the energy or the message for that particular month. And I'm starting off with the month of May. And you have the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is a very fast-moving energy, but it is giving you the green light on what you've been thinking about pursuing. It is full steam ahead with your plans. So, Scorpio, hold on, because when the Eight of Cards shows up, this is very intense energy, so you need to be prepared. This is something that's being set into motion. This can be rapid communication coming in and any kind of roadblock you previously had will be taken care of and in a positive manner. Now for some Scorpios, there is a warning here and you need to ask yourself, what are you rushing into and why? And if this is in line with your goals, great. Just hold on and enjoy the ride. Now, this is a general reading, so what's coming into you can be so many different things. But with the wand's fiery energy, it's usually in regards to something you're passionate about. Scorpio, this can be in regards to love relationships. Now, this kind of energy is a love at first sight and being swept off your feet kind of energy coming in. So if you're looking for love, May just might be the month you find it. And as you look at the card here, I always find it interesting, the direction of the wands. If the wands are coming down, they're coming in, that means something is quickly coming into you. If the wands are shooting up and off, this could represent like if your business is really taking off, it's doing well. But in this particular deck, the Eight of Wands is coming directly at you. It's like the divine light is sending something your way, Scorpio. And it's different for everyone. This has got to do with something that you're passionate about, Scorpio. The number eight energy of this card is all about abundance. So May is the month of abundance coming in. And that could be in regards to your career, relationships, or business, just to name a few. Moving on to your next card in the month of June, you have the Major Arcana card, Justice. Now for some Scorpios, the Justice card could be showing up indicating legal action or a court case. Possibly the fire, fiery energy of whatever came in quickly last month might have something to do with the court case now. You might have rushed into something, Scorpio, without thinking things through. And only the message with this is justice will prevail. For other Scorpios, the justice card is just indicating that you're feeling out of balance, that you need to find your center. Take some time out. Meditate, get grounded, center all your chakras, and tune into your higher self and get that balance back. But for most Scorpios, the biggest message with the Justice card is it's time to balance the scales. Possibly some of you might have been feeling like you're being judged and possibly judged unfairly. So this card shows up indicating that everything will fall into place just as it was meant to be. 
Now, as we look at the just, justice card a little bit closer here, we see the woman resembles the Egyptian goddess, Mayat, who performs the ceremony of judgment of the dead in which the weighing of the heart of the deceased on a scale against the ostrich feather. Now, the number 11 energy of this card reduces down to two. And the number two has to do with union and balance and harmony. And two is also the number of the sacro chakra, which has to do with change. So during this month, if there's been injustice against you, Scorpio, you are likely to experience this type of change. Justice will prevail. Now moving on to your next month of July, you have the Six of Coins, also known as the Six of Pentacles. And look at this, Scorpio, more scales. And yes, this is about balance, but this card has more to do with give and take. This is giving and receiving with the universe. It's about getting what you deserve, Scorpio. And this card has a lot to do with financial flow, about charity and giving back, generosity, assisting others. This card is depicting, depicting, couldn't say that word, depicting the scales are unbalanced, showing inequality. One person or more has more than the other. But a six coin is being added in order to address the issue and provide balance. So this card is indicating that life isn't always completely fair. But for the ones that can, address these issues. So for this month of July, it could be indicating that you show gratitude for what you've received by giving back to a charity or helping others. You might find that this month you're involved with an organization or a group, possibly a food bank, or any number of organizations out there that help people in need. So Scorpio, this is a pay it back, pay it forward kind of energy. For some Scorpios, you might be on the other end of the scale. It could be you that is in need of some help. And this card is also indicating not to be too proud to accept help from others, because what comes around goes around. You might be down on your luck right now, and all you need to do is ask for help. And know that you will be back on your feet again soon, and possibly being called upon to help someone else. Now, for some Scorpios in July, you're going to start to take notice of the give and take, or the lack of give and take, in your current relationship. You need to ask yourself, is one person doing all the giving? And is one person doing all the taking? So you're going to notice something this month that your relationship's not balanced and you might decide to leave. The number six energy of this card is all about harmony and balance. So between last month's with your justice card and this month with the Six of Coins, you are definitely trying to pursue getting some balance in your life. Now, moving on to your next month of August, you have the Ace of Swords. Okay, Scorpio, it looks like August is going to be a month that will be the turning point for you. As the Ace of Swords is the presentation of an opportunity for you to begin something new. This is new beginnings after a long, tough battle. Now, possibly the last three months here have been somewhat difficult for you, depending on what the Eight of Wands and the Justice card and the Six of Coins had in store for you. And now for so many of you, you're going to grab that sword and eliminate any obstacles that are in your way this month. This card is an indication that you'll have the mental focus to make new plans, develop new strategies, and commit to carrying them out. And the nice thing about the sword energy and this ace of swords is a new truth will occur to you. 
and you will understand something in a new way. And possibly some of you will gain a fresh perspective on an old issue. So this opportunity being presented this month with the Ace of Swords may be an opportunity to cut away what is unnecessary in your life, Scorpio, and just leave it behind. But just a reminder that when the aces show up, it is the presentation of the opportunity. You need to step in, grab it, and put it into action. Now, the number one energy of this card is the number of the root chakra, which is your base or foundation. And the number one, this has the magic and energy of the magician card and the wheel of fortune card, the sun card and the rest of the aces to manifest what you desire to happen. So Scorpio, August just might be your turning point. Now moving on to your next month of September, you have the Queen of Wands. Scorpio, this individual is a fire sign. This is actually Aries card, but it could be a Leo or Sagittarius as well that you might be dealing with this month. Now, the Queen of Wands showing up might indicate she will be the individual that will help you with whatever you're passionate about this month. This could be something that you possibly have been doing as a hobby, but now you want to bust into it full force and earn a living from it. For some Scorpios, it could be in regards to receiving a job offer from this Queen of Wands. She is a very successful career woman, possibly an entrepreneur. The fireside queens have the ability to see the potential in individuals. They see what others cannot. Now looking at the card here, she knows something that you don't, Scorpio. This is a queen that makes things happen. This could possibly have something to do with the opportunity that was presenting itself last month. So for this month, Scorpio, be looking for this fire sign queen to possibly be giving you an opportunity to follow your dreams. Now moving on to your next card for the last month of October that I pulled for you, Scorpio, and you have the Ten of Coins which is also known as the Ten of Pentacles. Great card, Scorpio. This is a card of wealth and physical security. This is the time of material abundance and being very successful. This can come in the form of a successful financial investment, possibly an inheritance coming in. It could also mean good health and well-being. This is a sign of abundance coming your way, Scorpio. Something wonderful to look forward to. The number 10 energy of this card is the most complete form of the suit's energy. This is the ultimate completion. 10 is a time when mastery has been achieved. But then as we reduce the number 10 down to number one, it is time to seek new pursuits. So it looks like October will be a very good month for you, Scorpio. Now, I did pull an angel answer oracle card for you, Scorpio, asking what message your angels and guides are sending you this week. And you received, oops, perfect timing. And there's the hourglass there. Perfect timing. Your angels and guides are indicating this is the perfect timing for the situation or plans that you're thinking about. Move forward with confidence. Don't delay or hesitate because an energy gateway is presently open for you. Conditions are right. Even if you don't feel prepared, Scorpio, rest assured you are. Now, your first three months might be a bit challenging with twists and turns and trying to get things balanced out. 
But your last three months is where the real magic starts to happen, ending with your Ten of Pentacles in October. So I leave you with the message of the card, Scorpio, but it is all within your own hands. You decide your own destiny, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And at this time, I am performing Quick Glance readings gratis. Click on my website link below, fill out the form on my contact page by asking your questions, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Love and abundance to my Scorpio family.